Hello all, my name is Reese Gibson with QTE Manufacturing Solutions. Today we're going to talk about C-hooks or Mastercam add-ins in Mastercam 2020. Uh, basically if you go to your, your help screen up here and you type in C-hooks or net hooks, C-hooks, okay, they're called Mastercam add-ins. Think of them as little ad, little tools, little sub-programs. They're DLLs or dynamic library links which perform a certain function, which I will I'll demonstrate here shortly. Uh, you can develop your own C hook. Uh, it's a C++. That hook programming skills are required. Qt will not support these, and neither will Mastercam. Although Mastercam will write one for you if you have a specific request, which you can contact our sales department. Okay. Uh, to find out which ones are available, uh, you go down here and click on your add-in supply. Okay. These are the ones that are come with Mastercam standard. They are not available in the Home Learning Edition. Okay. Now, if you're not sure what they are, basically you click on the actual function itself, and it explains how this Let's see how it performs. Okay. Uh, we can start with, with the Arc Multi Edit. Okay. Now, how to access those? Basically, you can hit the alternate and hold down the C button, or you can actually go up to your home, your home key here and run add-ins. Okay. Uh, we'll start out with simple ones. Now, there's a lot of them in here. I can't cover them all, but I will cover the major ones. Okay. Uh, Arc 3D or multi-arc, or there's a bunch of them. Okay. So what this will do is we'll select the arcs, and basically offset them, add a radius one inch, okay, multi-arcs. Another common function is drill point. Drill point will basically put a point at the center of all full arcs automatically. No selection is needed. By hitting the opening key, automatically does it. Now, the system has to be in the same color as the current color of the arcs. It will not put points at the center of arcs if they're different than the, the current system color, which is blue at this point. Uh, another little add-on utility. Find the gear. Now what gear will do, gear will go in and basically create your full gear. You type in how many teeth you need, the addendum, de addendum, spur gear, invert, Internal, external, these are great drawing tools. Now they're just again 2D, but you can turn them into 3D solids and machinable geometry. Okay. There's your gear. I have another one called Sprocket. And most of these you can undo as well. Another one called Sprocket. Sprocket will create a, a Again, parametric, you want a 50 tooth sprocket, you want to make your own sprocket, what kind of chain you got, 25, 20, you want one tooth, all tooth, another one I like is the gravity fill, basically I want to fill this rectangle with circles tangently. Okay. It's called grid pocket. Right here. You select your closed trim loop. Okay, it's a closed trim loop. And if there's a problem with your geometry, uh, we can go check this real quick. So you know what? Let's go delete duplicates. Okay, there's no duplicates. Oh, there must be overlapping entities. Well, there's a C hook for that as well. And you run your net hook here, find overlaps. Okay. 
and you select all geometry you want to look for overlapping. Overlapping will find overlapping and it's not duplicates. Okay. Now you can do the control A window everybody in and basically it found overlapping entities. I just tell, I, in mine, you can actually tell me the first one, the last one, the previous one, the next one, and I'd say just clean them up. It basically deletes the shortest overlapping entity. Handy function. Now we're we'll back to our grid pocket. Now I have no chaining issues. Uh, basically, you can tell it to make circles. You want arcs and centers, center points and arcs, gravity fill, automatically, even spacing. Play around with this function. It does a pretty good job. And again, most of these, the undo will work. A couple more here and we'll end it off. You guys, everybody gets the, the idea here. Break circles. Let's go in and break circles. Break circles, pretty nice one. Uh, there's no selection needed. You want to break them into four quadrants. All arcs being shown that are not hidden will be broken. Text chain. Text chain's another one. It'll basically. Uh, Basically write geometry along a spline or curve or an arc. Okay. Let's go create a manual. Okay, wireframe, let's go get a spline. And I want to create my little manual spline here. Hit my key. And I want to write text to follow that spline. Okay. So I'll go back to my home key and I go run. Run my, run my net hit. Okay, so we're looking for text chain. In here. Uh, you can pick your different font type and the text would be, okay, this is offset. Offset means offset from the bottom. Okay. Now I'd ask you for a open chain or close chain. It says please select the start point. It doesn't know whether it wants to start here or there. So I come over here and select the start point. Now you can go back and change your offset. I invite you to discover C hooks. Thank you for watching and We'll be going through a couple more C hooks that might be advantage to you.